It's Canada, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados. What say you? Because I know you're a, a Canad Canadian um, slash African. Yeah. Ghana. Ghana. <laughs> You know, every when the people who think I'm Haitian and Jamaican, and uh, I don't have all the passports you do, JD, but, but we're living life. Um, no, I think this group is interesting. We know what the U.S. is at this level. They've made efforts to continue to build into the program and build it well. So them talking the group isn't. I'm, I'm just giving that to that. I'm, I'm fine doing that. Um, Canada coming into this group is we're the fifth ranked team in here. So being in this group, they should finish. We haven't seen much from them. We know they played two friendlies. They beat uh, Costa Rica, and then they lost to Mexico three 0 So you know there's a there's a gap there. But then also you don't know how the coach played. Andrew Oliveira. We don't know how he played that. Maybe he threw a bunch of uh, substitutes on to see players and see how they reacted. So we don't know, but. I think how this group looks right here, I think that's how this group ends. Uh, thankfully, Canada doesn't play uh, until the end. So you're really playing for seeding if you're able to keep up with what they're supposed to do. But I think how this group is set up, I think that's where it ends up, to be honest. So I think how it's set is how it finishes. Um. You think that um, they have always said it that United States and Canada and Mexico don't play each other um, first in majority of the competition so they can always set themselves up in a pole position um, to qualify? Um, that's why you see teams. So if you notice, the first seeded teams were US, Mexico, Honduras, and Costa Rica. And then the fifth team is Canada. So I think with that being the case, yeah, you, you do see team because again, if you look how it breaks out, the number one team plays the best team from the pre-qualifiers, and then they don't play another number one team if they take care of their business on the pitch until what the semi. Well, you think they set it that way, um, specifically that um, the bigger teams them um, get their set themselves in posi pole positions to qualify. Or you think it just you're okay with that ruling? I'm just asking because I've always yeah. seen it, and I think it kept um, United States and Mexico atop for a long while due to the way, the way they have structured it. So I'm just saying uh, you should always throw it in a ball and just pick it out. Obviously, you know the group. You just throw it in a ball and pick it out, and then um, from that you pick all of the games. I, mean, I would love for something to go like that: a scramble. Anybody play anybody first? You know? Okay, just you're fine it. with that. So so yes. so to put you so you're fine if somehow you end up with a group that happens to be USA, Mexico, Canada, and then Jimmy. No 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 no. We we no, know but, but you're saying but you're saying you just look, put no, everyone no. in. So so you're fine no. with that type of group. What I'm talking about? I'm talking about when you know all four teams. The structured, uh, the structured um, approach to get the first games. I think you should get, you should make art right, in Canada face you. It, it's possible that Canada could face United States first. You understand me? And if one of them lost the game, their their approach to the next game would be completely different. So it it would leave a little hole for the underdog to can defend and get a point to force you to go out and and, and fight in the third game to get three points. You understand me? So it yeah. makes it more competitive, but I think if you use a seeded ranking, it's easier for them because they avoided each other. Um, and then when both of them on six points are, are both one and four point, they can say, okay, I'm not going to concede so much. And the next one said, okay, once it's a draw, we can finish on seven, five. You understand me? It, it makes it easier, uh, which I don't really like it. You know, I, I want it to, they need to ruffle the damn, um, after getting the group, um, you ruffle the games as well. I would definitely appreciate that. I don't know what people think about it, but for me and the excitement, I think so. So some of the time, you have the first two best seeded team in the actual, um, in the actual um th setup. Yes, man. Yes, I, I would love it, man. I would love but it. But at the same time, either way, you're not guaranteed anything, right? No, you're not guaranteed. Look, look, look at the World Cup. Look, 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 look at the Men's please. World Cup. Look at the Men's World Cup. Look at Canada's group, right? You came in, you said, okay, you have Belgium, you have Croatia, you have Morocco, and you have Canada. And everyone's like, okay, give it to Belgium, give it to Croatia. We'll be fine. Because they were ranked where they were. And then what? Belgium didn't do anything. Croatia and Morocco made the semis. 
And Canada, though they came home with a bagel, they look good on the pitch. So at well, the well, end of the day, Africans, we are not going to do the same. The, the World Cup is the World Cup. It's not going to be like <laughs> no, I can't no. no. Cool. It's the same as the World Cup. No, no. no. The B T are really better than everybody else. Okay. Yeah, because I'm beaten. <laughs> yeah. 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 To, to me, you're in the yeah. group. Like I said before, someone's going to overperform always. Someone's going to underperform always. So, so wherever you end up in the group, whether you have all the big teams in your group or whether you have uh, teams who would be considered minnows, get on the pitch, play, and then let the results be what they are. To, to me, it doesn't matter to me as much. Now, maybe just because I'm Canadian and, hey, coming into this, we're ranked fifth, so I don't have anything to worry about. Allegedly, I'm, I'm gonna concede on this one and give it to Africans, but you guys knew exactly what I was actually talking about, you know, because you have to strategize a little bit different. Uh, when you have to play United States first, and more likely one of them will lose it the, the, the damn game, so it makes it a little bit um tougher, you know, and uh, maybe you would make more money off it because nobody know if um Canada will go through anymore or United States will go through anymore and it will pack the stadiums a little bit more. So you never may know in a future um I idea. Never may know. But anyways, yeah. give me your order that you're gonna give you said the same order. The same order yeah, as the same order. Yeah. I just want to point out that guys JD is just upset because every team he has done videos and promoted has always ended up with a group with Jamaica. So he's just a bit upset about that. So it's not my fault. What JD has is a lot of pent up, just a lot of frustration over, you know, I wish they played Suriname, Jamaican Suriname in Nations League. I wish the women would play Haiti, Jamaican Haiti in W. So I think it's just JD is a little bit frustrated because every time he makes a talks with another team, they always end up group with Jamaica. So it's really JD's fault. It's not Kalkakao's fault. All right. So for me, um, my selection, I would definitely say United States will win it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're going to win it. Yeah. And then Canada. I, I think Canada and Trinidad, you know, will square off um, in this one here because we're going to get to see Trinidad later playing Jamaica um, um, at the time of this filming. So we will have much more insights towards the Trinidad, the, uh, Trinidad team. Um, Bar Barbados. Um, I think they are up and coming and trying their best. So we never may know if they can just come out and play hard. You never may know. Um, but definitely, I, I would go with the same order here. So let me know, guys, in the comment section, what say you um, on this one. All right? Yes.